Hello makers, we are here at Formnex 2019 and next to me I have Michael or Michal? It can be Michael. Yeah. It can be Michael. So Michael is one of the uh, co-founders and co-owners of Trilabs and you might not know this but I have a very special love uh, for Delta printers. I have a very special place in my heart for Delta printers and the Trilabs Deltic. Uh, Deltic or Deltic? Deltic. Deltic. And this is Deltic too. I've seen the Deltic one um, at... Prague Maker Fair uh, last year. This is the successor. So Michael's going to tell us a bit about this amazing looking machine. Uh, so what are the specifications of it? So I would say that uh, starting from rebuild of the machine, we decided, or let's say from upgrade of the machine, we, we decided to do the complete rebuild. So Deltic 2 is in the way the machine, which has the same dimensions of 25 to 30 centimeters as a, as a standard version or Deltic 2 plus uh, to be uh, 25 to 50 centimeters, but uh, we completely changed and redesigned the frame so that it's more more rigid. Of course, you can see the change of the colors for the people who know that Deltic One was uh, black and black printer. Now we have black and white. And since we move more and more into the industrial areas, we have also the emergency button that became uh, one of the highlights of the printer. But uh, another highlight I would like to mention is definitely that we moved uh, into the wireless display. So we don't, uh, we don't ask people to, to use a display only on one position, but uh, you can have it in the docking station or you can have it direct in your hands and operate it uh, from your hand from anywhere next to your computer. This is a custom app, correct? Yeah, that's, that's our own application that we had uh, developed for ourselves and uh, it's controlling the printer, uh, printer through the Bluetooth. And of course, if you are too far, then it switches to Wi-Fi. So you can see everything also from out of, out of the Wi-Fi network. And this is not just a display, by the way. This is a, an actual mobile phone, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. So we were discussing a lot if we, if we should include display or not. And then we decided that customers still are too uh, known and too used to the display so that we said, OK, we will keep this uh, phone there, which is the Android phone. Uh, Android phone. But, uh, but uh, anybody can use uh, the application on his own phone, yes. Of course, the system is now fully 32 bits. That's why we have, uh, it's running Duet inside and we have uh, additional board to control all the things like uh, web portal, like web, uh, web interface that we use or to control the palette that uh, became, uh, palette 2 became uh, a new solution and we, we, in, we included that into the quad print uh, solution that allows uh, on our printer by keeping the excellent quality of the print to use also for I don't say only material I don't say only colors I say materials you can combine really solubles breakables uh, different materials and of course colors of the same material do you foresee in the future maybe integrating more of the work of how the palette 2 works with the Delta so how can I explain this? It makes it less reliable on pings and more reliable on on the palette to knowing where the printer is at at any specific point in the print. Uh, I mean, honestly, uh, you you are hitting the point. So one of the uh, key advantages of being here at the Formnex was to meet with uh, people from Mosaic. That's why we started uh, the first uh, the first discussions how to do it. And we well, then, hi, Mitch, by the way, from Mosaic. Yeah, hi, hi Mitch. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, so that, that's the plan, that's the plan, integrate this more because uh, we know that this unit uh, really deserves more than uh, to be known only as a multicolor solution, it's, it's multi-material, definitely, yes. And I mean, the thing is, with the palette too, obviously having a Delta printer, you're, you're more limited in space than it comes to a Cartesian or a square printer, so making sure you have that little amount of uh, space taken by the purge block is ideal. So having it tuned in perfectly would be just epic. 
Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. I mean, you, you also mentioned one thing about the space. Some of the customers, they say, hey, the Delta is limited with the X and Y, uh, X, Y uh, space. What we, what we learned uh, pretty recently is that you can print many things in a different orientation. So especially with Delta, we are printing in these, in these directions. So no supports, only using a brim, and then you have this, this degree. And by this, by the way, you're losing, you're completely losing the lines of the, of the layers, and you have an excellent, excellent surface. So, and of course, you are expanding the, the dimension. So we don't, we don't, uh, we are not that scared about really printing into the space. By the way, it's really printed better than in this direction. That's that's one of the latest, latest things that we that we learned. Yeah, and maybe the, the last thing. So we move uh, we moved into the uh, space of Deltic 2 Plus, which is uh, not only uh, of, of a bigger size, but uh, this this uh, unit has an additional extrusion system. So we uh, we, we call it uh, Trilab Flex Print, and this is add-on to the standard Titan with the Bovden, which we use still for the excellent designs. So we know that we are not able to do uh, these excellent surfaces and designs uh, without Titan. So the Titan with Bovden are really one of the key for the for the perfect design of the of the prints that we have. But for the more technological materials like uh, flexibles, uh, like uh, TPUs, TPEs, then uh, these things we print using the excellent uh, Zesty Nimble direct drive. It's so it's a remote direct drive where you have the where you have the motor here and the wire which is rotating and you are pushing the flexible filament directly directly into the head so this is uh, this is very key to to print all these all these flexible materials that that we love uh, current version of the head is exchangeable okay. so you just uh, unscrew it and you can have it with volcano or you can have it uh, and we plan to have it with uh, with mosquito the print quality on this machine is absolutely mind-blowing and i can see that you have carbon fiber rods here for the effector arms um, I, you told me that these are not high wind linear rails, is that correct? We are moving to THK, that's the linear rails from, from Japan, we are going to, to have in the Deltic 2. And one thing which I forgot, by the way, is, uh, is, uh, is a brand new print pad. So we are, we, are, we are going to be able to really automatically uh, re -change, exchange, exchange the pads because they are magnetic and, and we, can, we can do really uh, semi-automatic prints in the, in the future. All right, so basically you can have sort of like a mechanism that once the print is finished, you can just swap the bed out. And I also noticed that you have a camera installed up here. Uh, that's for time lapses or monitoring? Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's mostly uh, for monitoring because uh, you have the lights that uh, enlighten the, the model. So you, you see from anywhere, if you are printing one, two, three days, in this size of printer, normally we print two, three days uh, alone. So you want to be sure that everything is okay. And that's why we have this one, yeah. And you also mentioned that having one display is not necessarily made for one printer. If you have more than one Deltic, you can have them all connected to the same display for connection. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the aim, you know, with the same Bluetooth uh, connection, uh, you, you connect the same phone into the more, more printers. That's what we do in our farm. Well, it is an amazing machine. I definitely look forward to playing with one. Um, for our viewers here, could you give us the, um, the price ranges for the machines that you have and if you have anything extra coming out mm -hmm. soon enough? So the Deltic 2 in, the, in this 30 centimeter version is 2.6 thousand euros uh, net, and this one is 3.4 uh, thousand euros. So uh, that's that's the plan. And we have the add-on, which is the the quad print. It's usually 700 uh, 700 euros as, as a normal price. And we have the flex print, which is additional nearly 300 300 euros. So it, these things come come you know on the top of that price. And I, I have to specify here that this is, well, it's a production unit. It's specifically built and created for the, uh, for the commercial benefit of having a print farm. So yeah, I can see this, the, the print quality is absolutely insane. I'm, I'm in love with it. I cannot wait to have it. So thank you very much for your time. It was a pleasure thank seeing you, you again. You and yeah, we'll, we'll speak very soon. Thank you very much, guys.